There's Kelly Harper. You see the resume. Went to the Sweet 16 last year in 25 games. And not only the coaching resume, she has a playing resume that will <laughs> you'd be shocked with. Right. She is so, so good on the court and when she's coaching. Tennessee wins the opening tap. They have the same starting five for a fifth straight game as Ricards picks the pocket of Horston. Gators want to get out and run. Rindahl runs the floor for two. And just what Florida wanted to do early, turn Tennessee over and then score immediately. Say, we're here to play. This is our game and this is our court. Some bookkeeping to take care of before we continue on this one. No Tamari Key, of course, for Tennessee. As you take a look at their starting five, they're finding others to step up. Sarah Puckett, Caroline Stripling. You have Tess Darby in that front court. Jordan Walker and Jordan Horston round out that starting five as you get a turnover there from Tennessee. And that is the fifth straight game with that starting five for the Lady Vols. Meanwhile, for the Gators, a similar starting five, a seventh straight game with Rimdahl, Deans, Ricards, Duke, and Rashea Kyle. They had a nine-game win streak snapped against Oklahoma on the 21st as Deans airballs a three. Tennessee played the other night. Gators have not played in about eight days. Jordan Walker runs the floor. And now the Tennessee fans yeah. can take a seat. They do it at home and on, on away games. They stand until that first point is scored. This brand continues to travel a lot of fans. A lot of Tennessee orange in the crowd tonight. Due to rare three-point attempts, can't hit. Horst in the uncontested board. Horston has something to prove in this matchup. Just five points against the Gators last year. Goes rumbling into the paint. Got fouled by Ricards. They're better defenders to try to slow her down a little bit, but expect her to do exactly what she did in this game. Over 1,100 points, trying to become the fourth lady ball with over 1,000 points, 500 rebounds, and 400 assists. And that would come with prestige company. Jillian Hollingshed, the Georgia transfer, is in as well. Ricards knocks it down. And for Florida, if Nina Ricards can get going in that mid-range game, she's very special. Oh, Tati Weiss, the call of travel prior to the block. Meanwhile, Lady Ball still down. Sarah Puckett slow to get to her feet. In transition, Florida late to get back, but the recovery and the block doesn't get the foul, but the travel beforehand almost in stride. Gators without Correa and Merritt here tonight. Ricards can't finish. Did everything but finish at the bucket. Another tie-up. This time, we'll go to Tennessee. For Florida and, and Tennessee alike in some of their games, they, they were the dominant player. They were the dominant in size and athleticism. And so now, right now, you're having to, you know, size up and play a little bit stronger down low. you got to rebound the basketball. And, and that's something Tennessee and Coach was talking about. They wanted to be better at rebounding the basketball. Swelling in her knee. Of course, Joni Taylor moving on to Texas A&M. It's a nice piece. It's a good find sophomore. by Tennessee. Yeah. Young in her career, but so much talent and ability. She had one of her best performances last year against the Gators on this floor. An eight-point performance. Deans turns the corner. Tough contested look, but contact at a 5'8 stature. She's his team's leading scorer. She's the heartbeat, the pulse, whatever you want to say. She can't do it. She's going to work even harder to prove to you that she can do it. And that's what she's done with this Florida program, transferring in. You know, she was an immediate bucket. And a rare miss from her. Two misses from the free throw line where in the pre-SEC play, you know, she was almost automatic from there. But you know, she's just the type of player who if you ask her to, to you know, we need you to defend harder, she's going to do that. If we need you to score, she's going to do that. Well, Brittany, how about that move from Rakia Jackson? Nice. Outstanding. Rimdahl quickly with the response. And for Florida, that's what they have to do. When Rakia Jackson makes a move like that, a fancy move to the best, it's, it's nice. You have to have a quick response. So that's a, a big-time player, especially a shot blocker at the uh, rim that you don't have at 6'6". Six, six. Uh, she's a, a force to be reckoned with down low. Always have to second-guess her. You know, think about when you're going inside when Key was in the paint. Michael Perry can't finish out the cup. Fake do the rebound in the stick back leaves you when she's out. Jackson in isolation. Ripped away by KK Deans. One-on-one -on -one back the other way. They'll call a foul. You look at the numbers she put up in three seasons at Mississippi State. At 20.3 points per game in her final year there. Yeah, when you when you pick up somebody at Tennessee who's averaging 20 points per game. Yeah. And they're coming to Tennessee. And right now, she's coming off the bench. When you're the best on your team, a lot of times, now with this new transfer portal and all the transfers that are going on, you know, they're seeking out teams like Tennessee. Produce offensively, but what Tennessee is doing a good job 
amongst the turnovers is playing good defense. How about Rache and Kyle with the rebound off the glass? A two of seven beginning to the game for the Lady Vols, almost eight minutes into the opening quarter. And trying to get Jackson on a post up. It's Franklin in on Duke, spins. Nice lefty That's, touch. It's a great move by Franklin, using her body. She gets Faith Duke kind of in the air on a slide, a fake kind of pass shot under the rim, and then comes back around. Rimmed all in tight traffic. We'll get a foul here on Justine Passat, freshman. Got to mention it. Passat, native of Tom's River, New right, Jersey. You've been waiting for this one. Some time down there. The good old Jersey Shore. Is that where the show? Right by where I grew up, you know, going on vacation around Seaside Heights, that area. Is that where the show comes for, from? Jersey yeah, Shore? Jersey that's, Shore. That's the actual town? You know, it's really sad. It's the only thing you know about New Jersey. <laughs> the MTV show. Can't say that I ever watched it, but I did hear the name. Long heave. Franklin able to rescue it. And a reset. Powell will hoist. Can't hit. Passat right on cue, the stick back. And she knew that was going in almost a step. Curry back up after yeah. she tipped that one in. Great ball movement by Tennessee on the offensive end to get an open shot. Ricard and a good rebound. Runs into a buzzsaw. Passat runs the floor. Back to back buckets for the freshman. And after what has been essentially an awful quarter for Tennessee taking care of the basketball, they're within two. The Gators have not been able to take advantage. Just a 33% beginning and shooting the ball. Look at a foul here on Puckett. Anita Ricards at 82%. 82% foul shooter misses the first. Walker runs the point. Inside 30 seconds for the opening quarter. Passat has back-to-back -back buckets. Little step back elbow action. Gators can hold for the final shot. Rimdahl with Franklin trailing. Oh. Dean Stratton. She'll shoot it from 30 feet too. Final seconds of the quarter. Chance to tie with a three here for Tennessee. Ten first quarter turnovers. Powell splits a double inside. Wow. Stripling. That was nice. Very the dive nice from offense. Jasmine Powell. And the bucket from Stripling and the quarter. He had a stretch where Tennessee's won four of the last five. During those five games, they've averaged about 14 more points off turnovers than their opponent. So that script has flipped to start. And I can... Uh, I'm not, not a betting girl. Played 132 career games. The Lady Vols won three consecutive national championships with Pat Summit in the mid-90s. The mid to late 90s. Tennessee's last lead was at 6-4. to four. Warren inside for Shea Kyle. Good positioning. That was a great catch by Shea Kyle down low. On one hand, a right hand. She don't even know if she put her other hand, left hand on it, and then yeah. finished. Last touch, Faith Duke. Good, with Tennessee. good positioning. If you're Florida and you don't see that if, as a guard, you don't see the backside help coming, and your post player has position like that, you want to lob it to her every time. You can see she had the whole paint. I mean, the left hand barely comes and touches that. That is a great play by Florida, stretching it out, almost overloading one side. Meanwhile, Jordan Horston was wide open on the baseline out of bounds and has the deuce underneath. That's the first field goal for Jordan Horston tonight. Rimdahl kicks it out. Dude, second three-point attempt. So knock it down from the corner. Three of 13 from distance prior to that make as Deans forces a turnover. Vision from Rimdahl. Ricards revs the engine inside. Minimal window. You see Horston's definitely frustrated right now. That's her second foul, and she's been held to just three points. In the first game, you can see the frustration on her face right now. When you pick up that second foul early in the second quarter, you know you're going to sit for a little while because you play a lot different. If you pick up that third foul before halftime, you have to start the second half playing a little bit different than if you only have two. Tess Darby chased off the line, hits the 15-footer. And you're going to run out, if you're Florida, you want to run out with a hand up, maybe cause her to try to travel, uh, but you'd rather her shoot two-point shots and three-point shots. How about this mentality right now from Rimdahl? She's not had any hesitancy. She takes it and she goes to the rim. It also has a high conversion rate I, at the line. I, I didn't want to say it, but you know. And you got her. Uh, Jake's you're, might have been a little delayed there. You've gotten two Florida players already tonight. Yeah. Mr. Second miss of her career. 
at the line. This is her second season. Which is interesting, too, when you talk about three-point shooters. A lot of times, three-point shooters are not really great free-throw shooters, but she is. The cards takes it away from Jackson, glides to the cup, can't finish. Deans, an ill-advised foul. And that's kind of like a fly-by play where you see, I mean, she's frustrated because she got the turnover, but she didn't go and foul. She just kind of stomps at you, and then you short the, the layup. And that happens more times than you would, you would think. And, and Rakia Jackson, she already had the foul in transition on KKB, and so she knew she couldn't do it again. That was a heads-up play, and that's a heads-up play by Tennessee. Just miscommunication defensively by Florida. Rimdahl keeps it in the holster that time, and will call a charge. And, uh, and while she's had that quick twitch to the rim tonight, there has been that hesitancy to hoist that three-point shot. And that's just an aggressive play where sometimes, you know, that play gets gets a call. Sometimes it doesn't. Good play defensively by Tennessee. But just depending on how the game's refed, if you get kind of a little bit of a push off or if they're not calling it. Now you know that's what they're calling. So you got to keep that off arm away. Jackson can't connect. Has the offensive rebound. Bodies in and one. Has the extra stare for Tati Weish. She knew it off the bounce. In. That's a great offensive move. If you're, yeah, you know, Tati Wise, she tries to stay straight up and not foul. She wasn't trying to foul in that position, but got the body foul. And you talked about, you know, Rikia Jackson turning it on. She's someone you don't want to get a little angry. First lead for Tennessee since the midway mark in the opening quarter. Only five to shoot. Ricards navigates down the lane, falling away with just one on the timer. Big buckets by the senior, Nina Ricards for Florida. Getting to the rim with just five seconds left. She's an aggressive player. She's from New York, and she doesn't back down from anybody. Yeah, Queens, New York. Yeah. Got a lot of Northeast in the house tonight. Tess Woo! Derby from the parking lot. That was a logo three. That was a confidence three. You gotta go a little bit closer on her. Rimdahl got stripped out of bounds. You're having to play them. There's no night off in this league. There's a good chance in any given night you get a top 50 yes. net rank opportunity yeah. for a win. And that can be a, a really big win and a really big boost for your standings at the end of the season. Fake Duke can't connect. Good defense from Rakeem Jackson. Jordan Horsty remains on the bench with her two personal fouls. We'll see if we see her before the break. And to note with the two personal fouls for Florida, KK Deans and Bertie Rimdahl also have two fouls as well as Tati Weish. Yeah, they both stay out on the floor because the Gators right now don't have many options. Yeah, they don't have many options. They can't afford for them to be off the court. Powell can't hit Jackson another rebound, and that advantage on the glass continues to swell for Tennessee. Uh, Florida's going to have to do a better job of boxing out. Ricard's trying to find somebody to come to the basketball with three. Deans from the logo. You know, say we have to do that, and we want to be a team that is known for their defense. Powell late in the clock with one. Long rebound for Deans, doesn't have numbers. Will slash in anyway the runner, Malling shed the rebound. Deans still without a field goal made. Jackson, that was pretty. That was real nice. Yeah, one dribble maybe in. Rimdahl Ooh. up to the rim with one. Brooklyn Miles is in around the point. The sophomore guard, just nine minutes a game. Promptly threw it away. KK Deans, can she finish in transit? She can. She leads the way for the Gators with nine. And, and none of them from the three-point line. Post touch for Jackson. Fades and fires. Saved by Ricard somehow going to the photogs underneath. Deans lumbers down the lane, the kiss off the window. Another bucket for KK. Here's Powell, oh, and that's, that's the third on Rimdahl, and, and it's she, an and one. And she tried to back off. You can see she tried to turn her body because she knew, and I and I think they knew that she has two fouls and they wanted to get her out of the game. But she tries to back off. That's uh, she she knew it too. Jasmine Powell transfer from Minnesota yeah, chases cold. Rimdahl to the bench. Lady Vols back by three. Warren off the curl, races in, kicks out Leah Weish. Franklin 
stepped out. Rakia Jackson on the floor for the Lady Vols as Kelly Harper went right back to her bench. About a seven-second differential between the two clubs. Walker inside for Jackson. Fouled by Tati White. Tennessee's, you know, up three, but one of their big hitters has been sitting on the bench the majority of this half. And the luxury of having a, a star yep. in this league in Rakia Jackson <laughs> to keep this team afloat. Scoring-wise... Shot clock is unplugged. Gators can hold for the final shot. See if Deans gets this look. Run a Duke screen. Deans spinning back and forth. Rashea Kyle, the jumper. That's short with two. Does Powell get a shot off? No. And Brittany, that brings us to a close of the half. And Tennessee, who trail for about nine minutes of that half, will take a five-point lead going into the group. Tess Darby underneath, horsed in behind the defense. That was a great play off the ball. Didn't get many looks at the rim late in the first half. Faith Duke. The backside help is coming from the top, where Faith Duke is. That post player is sinking down. Last bucket on the prior trip. Oh, it's just a great curl. Nina Ricards gets caught behind off, I think, an off-ball screen. Kind of gets clipped with it. And Tennessee was wide open. Good positioning oh, for Puckett. Great positioning, great move. I, I really like the move and the hook shot. If, if the player and defender is behind you, if Puckett has you sealed like that, that's points every single time. Cards on a tough angle. Gator still scoreless in this frame out of the halftime break. Horston says why not. Got it. Uh, she had a slow start to her game. She said not in the second half. Thread the needle. Rimdahl got fouled. Essentially, you got a whole new five besides Jordan Horston. She stays on. So you got Jackson. You got your wish. Jackson yeah. and Horston on the floor. Let's see them play together. 95% coming into the to the game. And both of them were uh, the front of the, the two shots. Jackson won't be denied. Not sure how the Gators match up against yeah, this it, When she's driving like that, Florida's going to have to come and send some uh, a double team. You can't allow her to get to the paint as easily as she does. Ripped off. Can the Gators get enough stops? And there's she's one. The leading scorer for Florida right now with 12 points. I like the decision by Florida. Go back to Birdie Rindle. And a C team who's dominating the glass right now. 32 rebounds to Florida's 19. And, and one for Rakia Jackson. Powerful down low. Just attacking the basket and then going up strong to finish. Double figures in 11 of her last 12. Horston couldn't grab the rebound. And now another opportunity to Florida to reset. Get a better look. They get it to Birdie and she knocks it down. On cue. Uh, and, and right now, I think, as for Florida, she has the hot hand. Can somebody else step up and get a couple buckets here to help her out? Rakia Jackson off the curl. It's kind of a back and forth. You got Birdie Rimdahl and Rakia Jackson scoring back and forth. Jackson now with 19. Shea Kyle digs in the lane. The scoop shot. She'll get two. Shea Kyle double doubles in her last two. Started the last eight games. Dealt with an injury last year at Purdue, her first year in the Gator program. It's both. Throw the ball in and get back on defense. Kind of keeps you, you know, ready defensively from the tip. How about Warren getting the assignment on Horston? They go right to it. Horston missed it. Second effort. And makes it true. They were going right to her. I mean, she stored back-to-back -back buckets. It's so hard to stop when yeah, she gets she is that position. so hard to stop. And she's good at getting the position. She gets the position early. So she's down there, and you have the defense on your back. You're going to give it to her every time. Get and a foul here. Going against Florida. And how is Florida going to defend that? Because they really only had to defend one in the first half. And it changes where you can send doubles because you can't really double off of them. Jasmine Powell with contact able to finish. That's Leah Weish on the foul at the bucket. Strong attack, weak side, rejects the screen and then comes over. And that's just a late, late help. Florida's late coming over. If you're going to come, you got to come sooner or don't come at all. The first time in her Lady Vol career against Wofford. Cannot complete the three point play.
Gators in need of another answer. Played without Deans for most of this third quarter. And a lot of times they've gone to Nina Ricard when they need an answer in games scoring wise. Oh, Great good pass. pass from Rindal and Kyle finishes. Woo! Across the defense, going to her left, passes it back to the right. Great hands by Shea Kyle down low. Big Shea, as she likes to be called sometimes, had great hands. Finish him. Jariah Warren in the passing lane, all alone for two. Sometimes yeah. you get in your head on those when you're all yeah, alone. Yeah, when you're all alone. So those are, those are risky ones. No one followed back behind. She was wide open. That was a, a good layup, good finish, a little boost for Florida to end this third quarter. Can they close out with a defensive stop? Jackson has the height mismatch on Ricards. Holling shit along too. Ricards, good box oh, out. Good backside tip. Stripped towards Jackson and one. And Nina Ricards has the box out down low, but Tennessee, I don't know who it was. It was Rakia or, or Horton down low. I think it was someone with the, the blue head fan. Got that tip on the backhand side. You can see the defensive stop and then the put back finish and one. Ricards elects to take it right away. A tough look. Tennessee capitalized here. Final possession of the quarter. Powell with three. Inside Jackson. Double comes. Lost it out of bounds. This is a chess game right now. We're seeing yeah. sub after sub. Faith too late to get to the table, so she can't get in. With 1.2, they bounce it in, and it's intercepted by Jariah Ward. So both teams will have New Year's Eve in an airplane. Actually, not Tennessee, but a lot of teams around the country will be traveling. <laughs> As Warren almost threw it away. Florida's going to have to have some quick responses offensively in this game. A 10-point game, you're going to have to get stops and scores. Would have been nice for them if they could have gotten a quick score to, to make this an 8 or possibly a 7-point game. Horsen inside nice. Sarah yeah. Puckett. That's when a Florida big has to come and relieve her because that's a mismatch every time. A good attack again by Bertie Rimdahl and as a result gets a rebound and then he's looking over and thinking she's not in the game right now. We get a foul here. Horston spins in the call travel. That was in program history and the largest loss for a Lady Vol team in the AP poll era. Now that, that bottom one is a crazy stat. In, in all of that from 1976 that they've ever had. Birdie getting her first one, three. Oh no, I thought it was a, they were yeah, excited. One, two. Long two. I was gonna say now with 18 points, thought maybe she had hit back to a career high. One short of a career high. Does she oh. have it here? Rimdahl back to Deans. In a crowd, Ricards for the career high. You bet! A three! What an unselfish play by Jariah Warren to find the hot hand in Birdie Rimdahl who is wide open. Momentum for the moment wow. swings to the orange and blue. Stripling down the lane, the call of foul under Shea Kyle. She's had some really good performances. Yeah, the basket. When she has open three, she's taking that NBA, WNBA. You see a lot of that first step that's, you know, given without a travel. Dean's a quiet night. Cyclone spin to the rack. Once a 13-point Tennessee lead, trimmed down to six. Now, what a game. Open up the SEC season. Six-point game here in the fourth. Good catch down low by Or That's tough to that stop. That is really horse it down low. What a great catch. That's where you see her athleticism and size to her advantage. Deans Lumpers inside and one. Ten points now. Scratches the double figures. Completes the three-point play. And can Tennessee have an answer offensively? And then on the flip side, can Florida have an answer defensively and get a stop? You have to think the look every trip down, yeah. Horston or Jackson. Absolutely. Take Where does the double come from if you're Florida, if you're going to help off? Duke gets a hand in there. Loose ball, Horston. Backs in on Ricards. Into the lane. Contorts oh, one up oh. and falls down. All the way in. He's a post player and finishes right around the... You know, charge circle. Uh, she's just so talented offensively. Consistent crowd silencer tonight. Nice look from Rimdahl. Jackson. And the Hezzy. I was going to say, they're skipping the turn they're looking for. Deans. Rimdahl trailing. Deans. 
Hooks it too low for Rindo. Horston got fouled. Last time down, she just backed herself down for two. 15 for 6 of 10 from the floor. Splits she, a pair. She knew that was coming off. She left as soon as it hit the rim. The pressure from Jordan Walker. Deeds has come alive in the fourth, dribbling out of her shoe. Twelfth Gator turnover. Tennessee's, for the moment, survived 19 turnovers. Gators trapping backcourt. And when you're trapping like this if you're Florida, you've got to get back defensively. Tennessee slows it down so you can recover and find your player. Jackson, the quick rip through, contorts, dances off. They called the foul on Faith Duke, but Kyle just a little bit late. Now it's 24. Rimdahl closed out by Jackson. Quick first step. Kick it out, Deans. Quick load up. Rips it out. The defense behind her, which means it had to help off KK Deans, who was in the corner and had just enough room to get the three off. Great offensive play by the two guards in Florida. Now 10 away from 1,000 career points for Deans. Blow the whistle, but you know, you see Kelly Finley deciding you know, what we're going to do when also, she's on defense. Yeah, they're, they're coming across the line and they're going to call it. Ricards gets it back. Drives in on Horston. We'll get a quick whistle. Ricards misses the first. And Jackson searches the end line. Right around reverse. Deans is doubled. Looking, will just lean in, had the alleyway, missed the banker, and Jasmine Powell has the Tennessee board. Pick and roll, Jackson. Slides past Duke, can't scoop it true, but we'll get two. And everybody else just kind of went off to the left-hand side, leaving them the right side of the floor. 83% free throw shooter. Get a foul here. Also, one of the officials was trying to calm down. Right now, can Florida get a stop? It's not a game where you can just trade possessions back and forth and wait to the end. Florida has to get some stops. Horsted, the shovel off for Franklin. Big That's orange on their feet. That was a great find. Dean trims out. Horston. Good rebound on the back side. And, and wanting to find it on that defensive end. They're getting those stops that they need down the stretch. Hand that right off to Franklin on the drive on the last offensive possession. Also a chance to survive a game where you have 20 yeah. turnovers as an offense. And the Gators need to get some of their horses back. Playing really undermanned tonight to get the lead that they have, and then Florida really never going away. Always finding a way offensively. Necessarily it, yes, an it, indicator of how the game was played. I mean, this could be no. a 17-point differential in its final the free throw. Right now, a 14-point differential. Horston goes down to the ground, doesn't get a whistle. Uh, we'll get a foul here. Came the full-time head coach late in February. Especially now that it's SEC play late. Like, and it's something that they want to be very good at. They were they improved their free throw percentage last year. Heading into Alabama at home on Sunday. Franklin turns in the lane. Three-second Three call. This year playing the toughest schedule in the country. But it's the atmosphere that you play in. So you're playing in, in big time. That, that was a tough one, I think, for them to play the way that they did and then finish the way that they did in that game. But the competition and the atmosphere that you're playing in makes a big difference. Tennessee's 45 rebounding yeah. effort. Yeah, that's a big number. Yeah. 45 to 27. As teams just ripped it away. A little window dressing at the end. Rimdahl, career night, 21 points. Gators had four in double figures, just not enough stops down the stretch. Jordan Horst and Rakia Jackson, they showed why they're two of the best in the SEC. Tennessee, a lot of preseason expectation, especially in the league, off to a 1-0 SEC start. 10-point road win.